Hi, I'm Brandon, and today we are doing RT PCR. RT PCR, reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction. This technique is used to detect and quantify messenger RNA. There are two basic parts. Part one, are RT, the synthesis of cDNA from RNA by reverse transcription. Part two, the, the specific amplification of cDNA molecule by polymerase chain reaction. This technique is used to measure the viral load in HIV virus and also used along with other RNA viruses, for instance, measles and mumps. So now we'll make a final mixture of the RNA sample extract and the master, the RT master mix. Here we have the RNA sample that was extracted and we have the RT master mix. RT master mix consists of water, buffer, magnesium chloride, DNTP, reverse transcriptase, and oligo DT primer. So we'll take some of the ten microliters of the RT master mix. Mix, and now we have the final mixture. So now we will incubate the mixture in the machine for an hour. And I'll be explaining the heating cycle in reverse transcription. First, we need to incubate the solution in 42 degrees Celsius for one hour for the synthesis of cDNA. Then, heat the solution up to 70 degrees Celsius to denature the remaining reverse transcription enzyme. So after an hour, we take out our final mixture. And now I'll be adding the PCR master mix into the sample. So this is my PCR master mix. PCR master mix is similar to RT master mix, except that the enzyme they use is tet polymerase and the primer is specific DNA primer. Put it back into the PCR machine and let it run for about three hours. Okay, so now I'll be explaining the PCR cycle. We start by heating the sample to 95 degrees Celsius, where the DNA synthesized will be denatured into single strands. After which, we let it cool to 54 degrees Celsius, where the primers will anneal to the strands and then we'll heat it back up to 72 degrees Celsius for the extension of the DNA because 72 degrees Celsius is the optimum temperature for tag polymerase activity. This cycle will repeat itself for about 30 to 35 times after which we will store it at 4 degrees Celsius for a variable amount of time. And this is how you do an RT-PCR 